All right, guys, it's Tim here from cleverbodybuilding.com, and we're going to do a back workout today. So we're going to cover every, every aspect of your back, um, lower, width, bit of thickness, bit of traps there, um, making sure the techniques are proper so all the feelings are going to work properly. Okay, so we're going to first off stretch the back out. So here we go. Arm on there, brother. Lean back, twist across. This way. You should feel that lat stretch. Straighten that arm out. You feel it? Yeah. Yeah, so hold it there for a little bit. Three more seconds. Two. One, we'll swap over. Twist the other way. Keep your arms straight. And you should feel that down your lats. You should feel that, yeah? Okay, so keep there. Another 10 seconds of that. Okay, super. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna like roll the, uh, the roll the muscles just to make sure they're nice and loose as well. Okay, so we're just gonna roll back and forth. Just make sure the sides are loose. Okay. And we'll swap over to the other side. Make sure they're nice and loose. And if you've got a little bit of a pain there, just, just roll it out. And that will stop anything dramatic happening when we're working out in a minute. Okay, because we are going to push it today. We're going to give it some beans, aren't we, guy? We'll make guys back grow. Okay. A lot of people miss this out. And this is generally quite useful to stop you hurting yourself but I know time's an issue a lot of people so we'll let everyone off <laughs> right we're going to do a, a pull down motion to start with uh, not a, a width exercise this is just a pull down row and this is going to get you into this sort of area of your back the lower lats and your lower lats are really quite hard to sort of get so we'll, we'll get these properly and then we'll show you how to do it I like a hook grip on here which is this sort of grip, rather than that sort of grip. That gets to a little bit more of your back working. That'll get your forearm working too much. Okay, so nice hot grip. Okay, chest tall. Okay, and what we're doing from there, we're pulling it all the way in, squeezing it, keeping the shoulder blades back, and the arms going forward there. So you're all the way back, feel the muscle, and slowly retract there. You don't want to be going forward like that. We've done that before in other videos. We're literally making it feel, loosening that muscle up, ready, making it going to work in a minute. Okay, so just feeling it, squeeze it. Okay. Lovely. Okay, just do one more there just to warm that up. Okay, that's not, this isn't even a set now. Go on, guy, jump in there, buddy. Okay, that's not even a set. And um, that's just literally getting the muscles used to working. Okay, and um, we're going to do a couple of sets of this, just build it up, and then we're going to do three active working sets. You get the right, you get the right posture on that, and this is where you're going to feel it working. Right in there. That's a missing body part from loads of bodybuilders um, out there. Including myself from my junior years, okay, it's really hard to get. You've got to make sure shoulder blades are back, okay, and you can't let that shoulder reach, and then you'll be fine, okay? So, got two more there for me, guy. Oh, awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do then, we're just going to uh, whack 10 aside on there, guy. Okay, we'll build it up. Again, this isn't really a working set yet. Okay, we're just going to make sure the muscle's working. Activating it. Squeeze. Slowly bring back. Under control. Every rep, feel the weight. Oh, that's definitely worn my back up now. So next set, we're going to do a working set. I've got to do three proper working sets. So guy's going to do one more. Give me 10 reps of that. Keep the chest up towards you can again. 
Well, the last thing we want to see, guys, when we're doing this is people flinging their backs around. You're doing your muscle, you're working your, your back muscle here. You're not working your full body. And this is nice and strict. You are losing your shoulder slightly there, so just keep that shoulder blade back a bit. Okay? But as long as you're feeling it in there, that's I'm happy with that. Right, we'll go we'll do a working set. We'll get another 10 on it, please, guy. Here we go. We're looking to get about 8 to 10 reps out of this. Should be struggling by the end of it. But we're not going to lose your form. So keep it nice and tall. Okay, here we go. Okay, there you go, eight reps. Nice little bit of failure at the end. Felt every single rep all the way through the motion, including the way up. Okay, chest up tall, six to eight guy. Okay, so when you start, Getting tired, you will lose a little bit of form, but as long as you can feel the muscle working, you're okay. So you feel that back still? Not the same position, yeah? Okay, when you're working in pairs, you want to go straight into it, really. You want to keep the rest as short as possible. So we're going to go straight back into it. Okay. Right, same again. Six to eight. Now. Okay, that's it. Okay guys, straight back into there buddy. All right, if you don't feel the muscle working all the way through, you're doing something wrong. All right, you need to make sure the shoulders are back. And when you're moving, when you're moving down, you'll feel it through your lats, okay? Uh, and then if you, if you eccentrically, slowly move that back, you'll feel it ripping up your back, okay? The last thing you wanna do is just release as you're coming up, okay? If it's doing that, it's far too heavy, and you take the weight down, okay? Right, last step. Okay, here we go. Feel, and all the way up the back. Okay. Whew. Okay, let's be done on that one. Right guy, one more set bro. You can't do it, so take your ten off it. You take a ten off it. Okay. Alright, so it's just a little bit too much. You won't get that activation. So don't be scared of taking weight off. Chest up, good form. That's looking stronger to me. You feel that loads more now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So again, if it's too heavy, you won't get the form. And you'll probably get it in your bicep rather than your back. Or uh, even, even your forearm. Well done, guy. Good eye. Good eye. Cool. Super. So that's first motion down. We just worked lower lats. We're going to get a bit of a higher lat movement now. We're going to go into a row. That's going to work the higher part of your lat. And again, we're going to hold the shoulder blades back, the scapulas back. If the scapulas don't come back, you won't get a contraction in your lats properly. Okay? All right, guys. Okay, guys, don't forget to fuel up during your workout. Um, in, your, in your drink, you need to have glutamine, branch chains, and more detection for your fuel. Okay, it's important to keep all this in because afterwards you're going to absorb a lot more food from your post-workout drink. So on the website, cleverbodybuilding.com, um, all the information's there. Go and check it out, guys. All right, let's get this workout going. Okay, guys, now we're going to do um, basically a hammer row. All right, um, again, we're going to do it properly, right technique. We'll make it feel it. Then on the retraction, we're going to slowly bring it back under a count of three or four. Um, slower the better, the make more muscle gets worked on the way back than the actual row. Make sure you're contracting and then release, okay? So we're just going to warm up again. 
That's better. Okay, I like an underarm grip, but most people um, can change whatever suits them. Keep tall, shoulders back again. And if you do this properly, you'll have a very short motion. So you're going to open the arm up, keep the shoulder blades back, and you're going to row, you're going to feel the muscle squeeze, and you're going to slowly bring that forward there. Okay, that is the motion, just like that. Feel it squeeze, and you're back, okay? If you let that shoulder go forward, the scapula will go forward, and you won't engage your lats properly. And that's the whole purpose of this exercise, is we're supposed to be working the lats. Okay, so we're just going to do another few of those just to warm up. All right, so we're going to go all the way back there, squeezing the muscles. Okay, all the way back, feel the squeeze, and then we're going to go there. Okay, right, guy, get in there, bro. Idea is, guys, you want to hold these bones together here, called the scapulas. You hold those together, it's hard for your shoulder to go forward. Everything you have to watch is just don't let the traps to go too high. Okay, on your row. And then, guy, you should be feeling that in there, is that right? Yep. Okay, so that's the area you want to be hitting when you're doing this exercise, the upper lats. Okay, the one before we did lower lats, we're now working upper lats. So we're working up the back as we go through this back workout. Right, you'll be surprised how many people put too much weight on this. Um, most people take about 30% off the way we're doing it now. So you don't need to lift super heavy to get your back working, guys. Okay, stick to your form. Form wins all the time. Remember, you can't grow a muscle that's not being worked. And then we're going to do a working set in a sec. Okay. Right, guy. Here we go, then. Keep tall, keep that shoulder blades back again, brother. Okay, it's really cool, interesting exercise. It looks really short movement, but that is all the working bits there. That's it, dude, well done, it's cool. Right, so we're gonna get three working sets in. We'll do these quite quick. So we're gonna aim for about six to eight reps, roughly. We'll try another 10 in there, brother, and then we'll Okay, and if the form's wrong, I'm gonna have to take the weight off it, otherwise we're not gonna hit that muscle properly. It's all about hitting the muscle. Okay, uh, on this grip, if it gets too hard, uh, if you grip, then just fold your thumb over the index finger there, and that will give you a little bit of secure, a bit more of a secure grip, all right? So it won't take it off the forearms too much. So hold that index finger in there, when it gets a little bit heavier, okay. And then we're going to get into form. Squeeze and row. Two, three, four. Squeeze and row. Two, three, four. Fantastic. Go on, guy. There right, you go, that's awesome. Okay. Right then, bro. So we're uh, doing it like this. We are limiting the weight because if you swing, you will lift a lot more weight. If we were doing a swinging motion, like a lot of people do, we'd probably be putting twice as much on there. All right. So we're going to do it properly again. That's the most important thing. So hold those back, bruv. Hold it, you need to hold it for a little longer. Squeeze it and one, two, three, four. Slow it down on the way back. One, two, three, four, that's it. Hold it, one, two, three, four. There you go, you won't get as many reps, but you'll be loads better. Right in there. That's where it's gonna be working, guys. Okay. You can feel it working nicely, keep going. Slowly. Control. Uh, you're done, you're done, you're done, that's enough. Okay. 
once you lose your posture in your shoulders, there's no point forcing a rep out because you're just going to burk your bicep. All right, focus on that muscle, the one you're working, when you're fatigued, you're fatigued, okay? Third set, last one. In fact, guy, we're gonna do a drop set. So just to, we'll, take a, we'll take a 10 off this when we, uh, we'll go down to two 10s to, to 20. All right, uh, doing a drop set is a really good way of uh, like fatiguing and finishing off that muscle. So we're literally gonna go 40 kilos, 30 kilos, 20 kilos, as soon as you're fatigued, okay? Cheers, guy. Okay, no hesitation, straight in there. You're here to work it, not ready to rest. Okay, so form again. Two, four. Oh, okay, and then one more, that's it, don't rest, straight in there, no messing around, okay, okay, good form again, squeeze the muscles, two, three, four, go, two, three, four, two, three, Okay, that's it. Ooh, okay, let's finish it off nicely. Okay, that's our high, high lat row. Bit of back thickness. Okay, guys gonna do it now. And right, we're gonna move on. Drop your shoulders a little bit. That's it. There you go. That's it. If those shoulder, if those traps go too high up, again, it'll limit your effectiveness of this lat muscle here. So you've gotta make sure they're down and these are back. Okay, that's what you want to be working. Okay, not this. Okay, right there. Okay, well done. All right. Okay, last step, come on guy. Come on brother, dig in. And again brother, and again. Pull, 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 pull. And again brother, pull, 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 pull. <laughs> come on you, come on you. That's it, well done bud, that's it. Good, okay. That's the second exercise now, guys. So we've done lower lats, higher lats, all right? We're now gonna work uh, the lower back now, okay, just under hyperextension. Give the forearms a little bit of a break as well. Okay, guys, so we're gonna take the focus on your forearms because by now you should have quite tight forearms. We're gonna work the lower back now, and this is the hyperextension machine, okay? So we're gonna get in there like so. Just a little warm up again. We're gonna go all the way down. No higher than there, otherwise you'll start hurting the back, okay? Okay, that's the first one. What you get in there, guy? Okay, and you will feel it. Nice pump in your lumbers, just there. Okay, and we'll get some weight going on after. Get some working sets after. That's it. You can go a little tiny bit higher. You go level. That's fine. Yeah, we should be feeling it right in there. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get a bit of weight on here now. Right there. Hold on, you put on your chest. All the way down. Up to the level. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. Nine, get one more. Ten, lovely. Okay, nice ten reps. Okay, I feel that quite nicely now. Okay, guy, we'll do the same. Ten reps will be fine. Six, feeling it in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. Nine. That'll do, that's ten. Good, lovely. Okay, nice feeling. <laughs> yeah, he's got it, he's got it. He's definitely feeling that. Right then, so we're just gonna take it up a notch. We're gonna go 15s if we can. 
So this time round, we're going to do around about sort of six, six to eight reps. Okay, real working set now. Okay, all the way down. So, uh, okay. Okay, that's a good one. Nice failure there on the last one. Okay, we'll go straight in here, the guy. Six to eight, that's what we're looking for, bud. Okay. Woo. You got it. Come on, you. Let's get that weight on it. In the words of one you call me lightweight baby. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That's it, that's it. Seven. Yeah, lovely, that's nice, that one. All right. that one off we have just body weight just to finish it okay let's go straight in here notice we're rock, rocking through these exercises with the limited amount of rest you don't want rest the more intense you train the more hormones you produce to recover and build muscle afterwards guys okay so this is important you don't spend half the workout chatting with your mates or talking to your girlfriend on your phone <laughs> all right or stalking Random people, okay? We want to make sure we're working and getting all those hormones released so you can recover and build properly afterwards. All right, train's about intensity. Okay, you want a social club talk afterwards. Okay. That's it, well done guy, good lad. Okay, we're gonna do one more, last one, last working set. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next one. Okay, limited rest. Wait. Okay, cool. All right, your guy. Last one, bud. Two. Don't forget you could drop it if it gets too much for the last few. Okay, or one. That's lovely. Nice guy. Nice running fire, bro. Pull up. And again, bud. Well done, guy. Okay, guys, so so far, first exercise we worked our lower lats, okay? Second exercise, we worked our higher lats. We just worked the lumbers down here. Okay, so we're getting a picture. We're building the Christmas tree up with the lower lats and the lumbers, and um, the, the, high, the high lats there from the row. We now need to work this area here, the traps, okay? And we're gonna do that with what I call a hammer trap row. All right, so we're gonna show you how to do that right now, okay? Okay, guys, this is the uh, the trap pro we were talking about before. Okay, we're gonna work the kite-shaped uh, muscle in your back, all right? And this is how we're gonna do it. Some people do this on shoulder day, but I prefer to do it on your back day because your traps virtually the whole of your upper back, all right? Um, the big muscle groups, okay, so we'll work them. Okay, in here, we're gonna grab the weights. Let's show it. Okay, shoulder blades back again. I always keep them back. Remember, you can't work anything properly if the shoulder blades are forward. From here, we're gonna shrug it up, and then we're gonna row it. Okay, and control the way down. All right, so we're gonna shrug and row. Nice and controlled. Okay, shrug and row. In this sense, the words slower the better. Okay, you're gonna work more muscle fibers as you're getting tired, and therefore more potential to grow. So shrug and row. Again, if you're not feeling it, you're not working it, and I can feel that all the way down my traps, pulling really well, all the way from my neck, and that's take it to my middle of my traps there. All right, so this shrug, gets the top of the traps, and this row takes the middle of the traps. Okay, we're gonna do one more of those. And that's a nice little warm up. Okay, guy, get in there, bud. 
Okay, hold it back. Okay, so shrug. Okay, so shrug up, shrug up, right up, and then row from there, and that'll get you in here. Okay, so from here again, shrug gets you that, the row gets you there. So there to there, and that's working all that kite shape on that back, all right? And that's what we want to be working here. Okay, keep going, guy. Are you feeling it working in there, bud? Yeah, good lad. <laughs> That's it. Come on, guy. All the way up. And control. That's brilliant, that. All right, I'll leave one more, be fine. Do one more. I'll put some weight on it then. Okay, good. Okie dokie, so we're going to get into another tennis side, I reckon. Right, round two. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, nice 12. Okay, the next set's gonna be a good working set. Okay, so we'll see if we get about 12 out of that guy. That's it, guys. So shrug it up, row it in. It's good, man. And again, row, pull. Squeeze. Nice, bros, nice. Right then, okay, we're gonna get a tennis side on that. Okay, so it's a little bit heavier now, so we're gonna get like a working set in here. So with this one, I always just like to go off the, um, the rubber onto the metal there, and I can like loop my finger around there, and then fold it over, and that gives me a really strong grip. All right, so that's not going anywhere. If I hold it there, my forearm will probably go. So that is gonna give me a much stronger grip when I'm doing this now, all right? So if I'm gonna grab that, okay, then they're gonna get that right there. So, position, shrug, row, shrug, row. So we've got about eight reps in there. That's about where we want to be now. Six, six to eight reps. Really working it. Keeping the form again. So keep it going there, guy. <coughs> you got that, bro. Okay, guy, let's do it. Really feel it in there. Boom. That's it. Good, and again, bro, and again. Pull, in. Hold those shoulder blades back. Pull. Well done, bro, it's good. It's good, okay, well, one more set to go. All right, one more set to go, we're moving on. Okay. For good form. And then we're off. Two. Three. Five. Oh, okay. Good failure set there. That's that done for me. Guy, your go, buddy. We're moving on to the next exercise. We'll get some width next, guys. Nice thick upper trap area. Always looks nice. Okay, special double bicep shot. All right. Really impressive with the lat spread as well when that's really thick. Okay, so keep that going. Shoulder shrug, row. Come on, come on. Shrug, row. Right up there, that's it, there you go, that's what I'm looking for. Just shrug it up, row it back. Come on, guy, can we cover more? Hold that back, hold that back. One more, come on, give me some effort, man. Yeah, it's good, lad, well done. Good. Okay, that's that one boxed. Okay, we're moving on to the next exercise. Okay, guys, now we're gonna hit the lap pull down now. And um, that's going to do um, our bit of width we want. Okay, so we're going to make sure we've got the long handle. We're going to go wide on it. I'll show you what we're going to do. So on the crease there, 
anything after that creases where you want to be holding. Okay, get a good grip. When you're sitting in here, you're sitting tall. Okay, you don't want to do this. Okay, that's putting your shoulders up, that's not going to work. Shoulders come down, that means you can activate your lats on the way down. That, you can't activate your lats on the way down, you end up doing bicep curls, okay? So, shoulder blades back down, keeping tall, chest up. From there, that's going all the way into your top of your chest. And then what we're going to do, as before, nice and slowly on the way up. And that will really pull the lats nicely. So we're going to go down, squeeze and bring that up nice and slow like that. Okay, squeeze. All right. All right, okay, that'll be a nice little warm up. All right, guy, jump in there, buddy. Okay, all these pull down movements do affect your forearm. So if you do need straps, you can wear straps. Um, it will help at the beginning, the beginning of your work, uh, workout career. <laughs> your forearms will well go before your back does. So it's until this strengthens up, you won't feel it ideally as much in there. But we're feeling that in here, the guy? Yep. Yeah. It's looking good, that's chest in, chest up for me. That's it, lovely. So you see from here, guy's shoulder blades are down. They're not up. And it just lose a little bit of form as getting tired. Just keep it tall, all the way down. And we'll work out through there on the way up. Nice. So guys, if your, um, your forearms are going, you can use straps, but ideally, long term, you want to be not using straps so you can strengthen it up. You don't want to rely on straps all the time. You want to get that forearm uh, size up. Working this is going to work your forearm, okay? So if you do a lot of back work properly, you generally don't have to do a lot of forearm exercises because it comes, okay? So let's carry on. Right there, proper posture. Okay, shoulder blades down. In. Good, squeeze. One, two, three, four. Okay, I know it's on there. But I'm not at swinging backwards. Okay, I'm keeping my form dead straight. And if my lats can't pull it down, I'm not gonna use my body to pull it down. Okay, I'm gonna work my lats, not my body. So if, my body, if one of my lats give up, then I give up. If my lats give up and I use my body, then I'm fooling myself thinking I'm gonna work my back. It's not gonna work, okay? Here we go, guy. Come on, you. <laughs> you're going, you're going. Keep it tight, keep it tight. That's about, you're losing, are you feeling the lats working anymore? Yeah? Yeah. We're losing a little bit of forearm uh, strength now. Um, we're gonna keep the reps low so we don't overburn them out. So we'll put the weight up, we're gonna try and get six reps or so, and then uh, keep the form proper, and we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, guy, emphasis on keeping it strict. All the way through it. Okay, keep tall. Don't swing back. Okay, work that muscle you want to work, which is your lats. So shoulder blades down, shoulder blades down. In here. Good. You feel it in there still, yeah? Good, keep going. Slowly on the way up. If you do it properly, guys, you'll feel it really burn the way up. Okay, so as you're coming down there, you'll feel it there. On the way up, you'll feel it working through there. You do it slowly, really nice. Okay, come on, all the way down. That's a gunner, brother, that's a gunner, good. <laughs> okay, next round. Limit the rest, always limit the rest. Ah. 
Okay. Right. Okay, guy. Last one, brother. Come on. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. You do it, man. Okay. All right. When your breast back, you go for it. Let's do it. Or if your partner's dying, you're here to encourage your partner. Come on, guy. Get in there. All right. You're here to grow. You're here to work. We're here to build this back up. Come on. That's it. Watch that. Let's drop that down. Do we drop the weight a little bit? Drop the weight a little bit. You're not quite getting there. Okay, if you notice there, that shoulder was coming up. So we want to just make sure that's not happening. These need to be down as you're pulling down. That's it. They're down. And then it'll work in there properly. This is a danger one here. Watch that. All the way down. Come on, guy. Again, bro. All the way down. Pull, 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 pull. Good lad, well done. Right, last one then. We'll try and push six out of this. It'll be hard. We'll give it a whirl though. Ugh. Uh, come on! Yep. Okay. We managed to get it. We managed to get that sick for the end there. Right, guy. Come on, push it down. Push it down. He's fighting. He's fighting me. Come on. Come on. Pull. 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 Well done, brother. <laughs> That's awesome. Right then. Okay. So we've just done a little bit of the whip work. All right. Um. We're going to finish off with a couple of drop sets on an ISO row. So we've already done a row, a hammer row earlier on. We're going to get that ISO row, just a couple of drop sets, just to finish us off completely. And we've covered everything on the back, the whole picture. Okay? Okay, guys, ISO lateral row. Okay, we're going to do a little drop set on this. Um, basically, this is one of the uh, major back movements that a lot of people get wrong and put far too much weight on. Um, if it's too heavy, your shoulders are going to come forward and you're not going to work the lats properly. Again, you need to be in this position to work your lats properly. And if you watch people put stupid weights on here, they generally aren't keeping the form. They're swinging their shoulders forward or they're pulling the back from the, 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 the torso. Okay, you've got to stick to your chest to the pad and you've got to keep the shoulders back when you're rowing here. As soon as you do this, you'll lose what you're trying to work. Okay, it's important. Here's how we do it. Okay, we're gonna grab the top. Okay. So, shoulder blades back. We're feeling that squeeze. Good. Feel it squeeze. Two. Six. Okay. So we'll take a 10 off. Okay. Okay, we're tired from the previous exercises, so we're not lifting massive weights, but this is still finishing us off. Okay. Squeeze and straight. Squeeze and straight. Squeeze straight. And again. Good. Okay. Whew. Okay. Set. Squeeze. And straight. Squeeze. Straight. Uh. I feel that really pinching in the back there, it's lovely. Okay. Good. Okay, one more. So keep the form, you might get a few reps now. It's quite light, that muscle's really fatigued. So if you keep it strict, you'll tire out really quite hard. I can feel all those lats working. High lats. 
low lats there. All the muscles in your back. And that's about it. Well done. Okay, right, here we go. Guys in. Right, shoulders blades right back, right back. A little bit more. You won't go anymore. Push, 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 just jump back a little bit, that's it. That's it. Keep his elbows in, down. There, that's it. A straight, pull. Good. Should we feel it in here, yeah? Yeah, good. Okay, guys, you're working here, and a little bit here, and here. All the rhomboids will work as well, naturally, but we're focusing on here, okay? We don't want these shoulder blades going too far forward, so you can feel it stretching there, okay? It's really tiring, you can tell it's tiring because the, the scapulas are stretching, now we're gonna take the weight down, okay? Go on there. Here we go, guy. Okay, so we'll go with fingers on the scapula again. Okay. Right, they want to be there. And if it's stretching my hand, we're obviously going forward, so we don't want that happening. Okay, as long as you're feeling it in there, guy. You go back enough, come back. Elbows back. You've gone there, I reckon, haven't you? Well, what? That's it. Okay. Go on, brother. Sit back in there, dude. Here we go. Come on. Got it? Scrap his back. Good. Put it back. Lovely. There you go, that's nice. Come on, brother. Come on, brother, that's it. In there? Come on, come on, come on. Also, watch the shoulders that's coming up. They're not too bad at the minute. If they go too high up, you won't connect as well. Come on, pull, 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 pull. All right, but at the minute we're looking good here. Strut that a little bit. Good. One more set, one more. Okay. Okay, get loose. This is where you get a few reps here, brother. Okay, like that's it. Rep it out now, don't lose that shoulder. Should get a few reps of this now, guy, because it's nice and light. Okay, feel and squeeze. Feel and squeeze. Come on, bro. And again, bro. Come on, brother. Fantastic, guy. And again, brother. Keep your chest on that pad. Don't lean too far back. <laughs> All right. Watch that shoulder. Uh, he's a gunner. Good. Well done. Right, we'll get one more set. I'm going to keep this on. Limit the rest. All these hormones will be pumping for your body now. And when you we get our drink in a minute, it's going to absorb all the nutrition and really grow us much better. Okay. Okay, as soon as I feel the technique going, I'm dropping it. Okay, because I won't be working the right muscle. So we go straight into this. Oh. That's a good squeeze. Yes! Okay. Okay, last bit now. Lots of reps. Okay. Okay, finish this off now. Squeeze it. And slowly, really slowly. Feel that work. Squeeze and slowly feel that work right the way through your lats. Squeeze. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to do... Try and get five more. Four. Three. Two. Okay. Yeah. That's me done for that. Okay, shoulder blades back. Come on, all the way through now. Last bit now. Drop that. Drop that, that's it. Come on, that's good, and again. It's gone, that has gone. It's gone, gone, gone. Okay, you got it? That's it. Down and in. Keep going. Pull, 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 pull. Next one, bro. Come on. Back in there, sit in there. Come on, you. Let's go. That's it. Hold that down. Come on, guy. Further back of the elbow. Come on, pull. Pull, 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 pull. I'm gonna go again, bro. All the way back. Yes, we'll get another one. You can do it. Yes, there is. There's always one more. Come on. There you go. That's it. You're always last. Okay. Back on there again. You'll be sitting straight into that. Slowly. Okay, with this one. I want you slowly and you'll feel that work away from your lats. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Okay. All the way back. Slowly. You feel it working all the way up as you come along. Okay. Head up. Head up. That's it. Okay, give me four more of those, guy. Come on. Slow. And slow. Two more, guy. Come on, you. One more, brother. And slowly, 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 and we're gonna relax that. Okay. Well done, brother. Okay, guys, we just finished a very strict machine back workout there. We covered every aspect of the back there. So we're not really missing anything. So if you've got a nice complete back, that's fine. If you're starting from scratch, you're bodybuilding from scratch, that's the way you want to work to get a nice complete back. So you're growing all the same all over. All right, if you've got separate um, issues, like say you've got, you can't get this area working or areas up there, you might have an issue with your posture, things like that. So that's something to, to go into in, in another video. Um, we, we, we do all those sort of videos on our, on our website, so check it out. Okay, but go through what we've done today. We started off with uh, the isolateral pull down, um, which works the lower lats, all right? Either side there, that's where you can get your Christmas tree from your bodybuilder. It's really quite hard to get, so you've got to get the posture right, which we did show you, so make sure you make note of that. We did then um, a row, which we've got higher lats. Okay, so we're hitting there and there now. Now, after that, we did the hyper extension, which got to lumbar area. Okay, so we're strengthening all that area, so all that there is working, all good to growth. From there, we went on to the trap row, which works a kite shaped muscle there, which is a big portion of your back. Remember, when you do lat spreads, that looks really cool. Okay, when you do a double bicep, you've got a nice good lat, a nice good trap. It shows nicely as well there. All right, um, from there, we went over to do some width exercises on the lat pull down. So we've got these muscles here. Uh, we're getting the width across there. Okay, and we finish off with a bit of a row, which gets you into these, these thickening muscles here. So we did a bit of width, a bit of thickening, and a full over spectrum on your back. Okay, so you want more exercise videos, check out the website, there's loads on there. Okay guys, you've got 30 minutes now to get your Proust workout drink in. Um, you need about 40, 50 grams of protein, you need at least 60 to 100 grams of carbs, depending on your body size. It's on the website, go and check it out, cleverbodybuilding.com. Um, all the uh, nutritionals are on there for your post-workout, okay? It's important, your body's now like a sponge, it'll absorb all the nutrients you've got, it wants to recover, it wants to build, Okay, and that's how we grow big muscles. Okay, so I'll see you next time, guys.